political editor Kartike Sharma is joining me live from the newsroom at this moment. Kartike, what are you picking on this verdict now? Will there finally be a court-monitored investigation into the probe and will the pricings actually be made public? You see, there are a couple of things uh, which have happened simultaneously. One is legal, another is the level of the policy and third is the political level. Now, but at the, at the level of the, uh, I would say, the policy, the matter is closed, which means that the government can very easily go ahead and finalize all the deals. Uh, at the policy level, to simply put it, what happens is that the government can be more adventurous and more forthright in going with other defense deals because one of the fallbacks of the 1987 Beaufort was that there was a paralysis. If you look at the acquisition, pattern of Indian military, major acquisitions took place when Indira Gandhi was Prime Minister and Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi was Helms of Affair till the government became lame duck with the buffers. After that, there was no acquisition or proper acquisition when it came to the aircrafts, when it came to the building of uh, naval ships or purchasing of important components, even Vikramaditya became late by 20 years. If you look at development of tanks or our indigenous fighter uh, uh, equipments, everything was delayed by 20 to 25 years for one simple reason. Every bureaucrat was afraid to ink any deal or put his opinion on the paper. So I think it's going to put that uh, policy paralysis at rest that if you push a defense deal, if you think it is right for the country, if you put your opinion on paper, then you might get victimized five years or ten years down the line. I think th that is one very important fallout of this judgment. Second is the political part. Now the political part is that the 2019 campaign of uh, the ruling, the opposition against the ruling uh, Bharti Janata Party was uh, around corruption. And I remember this because when I asked this question to Mr. Rahul Gandhi in the press conference, I said, if Congress comes back to power, will you cancel the deal? He said, I have no issue with the Rafale aircraft, but I have the issue with the process or the way it has been, uh, it is being acquired at that point of time. Now the whole thing has been shut, which means that politically, uh, this campaign has no weight. Uh, it means that the opposition will have to come to terms with the fact that the thing which they thought would deliver them, New Delhi, did not and the courts also seemed otherwise. And lastly, I would say the legal part, I think it's uh, it's end of that uh, issue now. Now if the opposition needs to interact with the ruling party or the ruling or the treasury as we call them in India, then the new issues need to come up. On 18th, the parliament is going to convene and if you take a big picture, Three important issues have been settled by the judiciary. Ayodhya, Rafal, Sabrimala and Adhar. Sabrimala and Adhar have gone to the higher benches, which means that this the, the bench today or as of now uh, under the Chief Justice will not be looking into it. It will have another life. Rafal and Ayodhya, they have come to an end.